What's good? It's Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. And this is not another not damn, another podcast. damn podcast. Presented by our damn selves. Damn selves. Episode 189, 189. Yes. 180. Wow. And this might damn near be two episodes because a whole lot happened this week. Look at this mess, man. <laughs> God, this, <laughs> That's probably not even everything. <laughs> notes on top of notes on top of notes. A whole top lot didn't happen. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to start with the big, the big news. Is my <laughs> big. big news, as bitch ass Ant said, as his character was known as in that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. The unrest in Washington. When they were confirming, um, Congress is confirming Joe Biden as president elect. Um, well, well, let me get your opinion. Well, first. this was, I, I got a lot, of, I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> so let's go back in time a little bit. So January 6th was supposed to be the day that Congress actually certified. So, um, even though an election take the election took place in November months ago now, the election um, and the electoral college votes in December, December, and then, and then they the actually validated it in January, in January, and then the inauguration is the twentieth. Mm-hmm. So it's a whole step process. So even technically, just because someone that's why the whole time is president elect, president elect, You're not president until you to do this, yeah, until you, yeah, until you, <laughs> you put yeah. your hand on that Bible and do this that. You're not president though. So even though like Biden, uh, he won the election, but he's not president until this happens. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's First, he had to win the election. Yeah. Then the electoral college had to vote. Then they had to certify it. So like now it's like it's moving towards that step. So like now the last thing that really just has to be done is yeah. I Joe by Joseph. What's his middle name? I don't know. <laughs> is it an R? I think. I don't know. <laughs> when I was looking, we'll, we'll know like most. We all, <laughs> I you think it's no R. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. it just looks funny, like uh, when you see like because like on the uh, ballot they have the people's whole name right now. So see it, Joseph. It's like Joseph, <laughs> like you know. Mm-hmm. So like I mean, because he, you know, obviously just goes by Joe or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um, so like actually we didn't really know at first what was like the severity of what was going on because I think I had had business that day. So then when I just got home and the kids were like watching a kids program and then we just started seeing Facebook and social media just going nuts about the Capitol. Nah, They're taking nah, over the Capitol. Can I come clean? <laughs> huh? I, I slept through all of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I work night. So I slept. Yeah, you work night. I so got up and was getting through. ready for my class. And pretty much when I was on my way to class, that's when I found out. Mm-hmm. It was like, like four thirty. Yeah, so it was like maybe was, about one thirty, about one thirty two o'clock when like we That's found out. I said because we were the kids were watching their kids program, and then we just saw like just how crazy it was just going. Marcus was like, "Okay, let, let me turn to MSNBC," and then he turned to it, and then we turned and we found it. I don't, I don't, I don't watch mainstream news, but I know. we was like. <laughs> We was like, let's see what's going on. We just saw everybody just talking about it. So we was like, let's let's see what's going on. Like, let's let's see. And then we turned it on. We were like, like that was like my first reaction was just, I was like, are they? Actually- I had to go back and look at the stuff. Like I said, because I slept through all of that shit. I was like, are they actually inside the? They're, wow, like, they're like really inside the Capitol building. They just went in and just. When in, and then when they have showed- a timeline for like how all of this, um, how we got here and shit. really are in the building. It's like they really like, are in there. It didn't, it didn't start there, it started earlier in the day. That's just like, so, yeah, mm-hmm. because, um, with the whole, um, so vote- piece together your timeline, yeah, you piece together yeah. your timeline. The whole vote, yeah, with the whole vote being, is it confirmed or it's confirmed as judges? What is it? What is it? I don't know. The whole vote was when it that being confirmed that day. Yeah, to be certified, yeah. Certified, yeah, that's the word. Thank you. With the yeah. vote being certified on that particular day. Earlier in that day, President Trump, he had his rally. There's all kinds of rallies around D.C. talking about, um, and even building up stuff. Let's go back before that. Mm-hmm. Even, like, after the election, and um, when um, Biden was, like, when they called whatever, like, Pennsylvania, whatever states they called, and, like, what put him over the line. Wisconsin, like, Pennsylvania, yeah, and Arizona. Call, like whatever states they called that officially put Biden 
as the over the line when they said when they finally called it, okay, Biden's the president of the left when they called it. And all of this time was then like for, of course like Trump was saying that um it was voter fraud and it's not um legitimate and all of that. Mm-hmm. And um we can't just put it on him though. He had help like shake and bake too, like all of the conservative <laughs> commentators, like they were um they were stirring the because like I said I watch all of that, yeah. They were egging it on, they were egging it on. I watch on. um yeah. on um not said not Fox. I don't watch the mainstream, but like I'm talking about on you, the YouTubers and all of that. There's a whole movement, like um, there's a whole movement of like of black conservative commentators, not just Candace Owens. She's the most famous one. There's a whole movement of them, like pretty much online. It's like yeah, it's like you got your Brandon Tatum, the Hodge twins, your Anthony Brian Logan. It's like a whole movement of these guys of cats on, on the, and they were starting as like said, yeah, the president elect and like all of this is like yeah, because Joe Biden. He, one, the presidency, like, t- telling their audiences, too. So, like, yeah, they, um, that pot is starting to boil now. You got, um, because people are watching that, and people mm-hmm. take that shit seriously. Mm-hmm. So, if people, like, if you believe if you're, if Trump is your guy, and you believe legitimately that this election was stolen, and then you get out there to Washington, like, yeah, they had, they, um, they, they had, they, um, they rally, like, earlier in the day, and Trump, like, Trump, he trumps. Like, he, he basically, he did his things. Uh, and though Trump, like I said, you got to be careful with your words because people take that shit seriously. First of all, like he said, had... Trump, like I said, we, we put Trump up there. Like I said, his the Trump supporters up there with the Beehive and, and the Jordan and the Bronze. Like, it's like, yeah, like certain fan bases are a little nutty. Trump supporters are near the top of that list. It's like, yeah, they up there, yeah. <laughs> and, so, and let's yeah. keep this in mind. Lest we forget, 70 million people voted for Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. 70 million. Like, yeah, obviously more voted for Biden. A lot more did. But, however, 70 million people voting adults over Even the age of 18. Even if 10% of that is, um, is radical and nutty, that's 7 million vote, people. Yeah. That's a lot voted for him. Yeah. Even if 90% of them are, like, normal, if, like, just the, right. just 10% are, like, the rat, that's 7 million people. That's 7 million people. Out here, just, like, just nutty, like, yeah. Well, 7 million people, people, let's put it in, say, in terms that you can understand. That's basically all of New York, all the boroughs, basically. Like, like all of New York. Manhattan, yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. Just pissed off and just, like, yeah. That's all of New York. That's the equivalent of that, yeah. <laughs> right, because there's 7 million people over there. Mm-hmm. And these people came from all over. They like they weren't like the Washington, the um that area. They yeah, came we saw uh, the deep. base girl. Yeah, they she came. From from all <laughs> <laughs> they came from all over. The people yeah, that they went came from all over and all of that. And the rallies, like they started out as regular peaceful protests, like how any other rallies. Like it was people, said that Trump, Trump though he people did. giving speeches. It was like any other rally, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, "Yeah, what we're gonna do? We're gonna walk down there to the Capitol building." We're gonna stop there, like you know, he went in Trump. Which is, which, let me let me interject for a second. Which is, like I said, and like Oz and I, we know our, we both passed civics. We both did well in civics. We know our constitution, which is, it is your right. You can assemble. That's in your First Amendment. You can't assemble that's peacefully. One of, the, one, of the, one of the top ten. That's the number one. And that's, that's part of, part of your. Uh, that's part that's of your right. You can assemble. Religion and your um and your speech. Yeah, the religion. Yeah. Speech, religion, press, assembly, and petition. That's the fifth one. Uh-huh. I remember you can do. One. You can do it. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. Sorry, I said I just wanted to. I just wanted to clarify that so people. Like, well, you're not letting people do their first. No, we're not on that. Like I said, you I don't know. Um, the rallies were fine. Like I said, right, you can assemble. Was, yeah, they were out there. Like yeah, said, nothing to see here. Office, no issues. Like, yeah, they were out nothing there. To see yeah. Here, yeah. Okay, I get it. You're pissed and off. People, okay. And it wasn't just Trump. Like I said, it was all kinds of um, like people on the um, the conservatives were out there giving speeches. Like um, uh-huh. they were like, which they said is your right to do. Yeah, I said no. I just said I, I may I may be like you know y'all some y'all some idiots for you know whatever for keep on like saying that this election is stolen. But if you want to assemble and be mad about it, then. Okay, and even with the YouTubers right. and all of them like pushing it as well too. It's like I said, right. I don't watch Fox News. I'm pretty sure Hannity and people like that were too. But on the, uh-huh. I watch like the um the alternative media is what I like. I don't like mainstream media. It's like uh, it, I, and not just Fox, like NBC, CNN. I, mean, I don't watch none of that shit because mm-hmm. most of them are full of shit. Like, Which one is the? Like, you said C-SPAN is the one. C-SPAN is what? Because C-SPAN is no frills. 
That's where I get my government off. That's the one that I be wanting to get, but I don't know if I have it on my um on my thing. I don't know if I have it. I gotta look and see. That's the one that I, I want to look. I want to find neutral. That's the one I want to look for. I want to find. Here's the debate between Trump and Biden, right here. They just go to it, and that's why I like. I like just neutral. Just give me the facts. I don't want the frills and the yes, and he's a terrorist, and he's a. Because on both sides, they're gonna spin it to their. <laughs> Yo, hey. you know that? he's a terror and then on the on the other side but yeah well Joe, Joe, like, president trump destroyed biden and that the boy it is like yeah both sides are gonna like give their opinion so like i don't, I don't and that's what and that's this is the reaction that i give I when need. i watch it i just do like this from both sides this is the reaction i give but uh um, you yeah, said we're so we gonna walk down the capitol hill mm-hmm. and um and like and no and trump just be talking shit i don't think he really bent he's like you know he's He's a fucking reality star. That's what he does and shit. Like he's just he's like grandstanding, oh. grandstanding, and like all of that shit is like. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, like I said, even if it's just ten percent, what says seven million nutty people? Hey, we'll and then he had how many followers on Twitter? 80, what, like 80, 80 million? If it's just ten percent of those are nutty. That's eight something million. like that. Yeah, eighty million Twitter followers. So yeah, like um, and a good portion of them are in Washington. And they hear him say, we're going to walk down the Capitol Hill and stop this shit. Oh, they said, it sounds like a good idea. Let's walk down And here. demand it. And demand that we stop this count. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, we, that's right. We want to demand it. That's right. We want this election in a landslide. They're trying to steal it from us. We're no, going to walk didn't. down there. We're going to stop this. It's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> And now you've already, like, you've taken his hook, line, and sinker, even though he's just talking shit. This is what he does. He talks shit. He talks shit. That's what he does. He was on freaking WWE getting body slammed. Yeah. We know wrestling is fake. Cole gave him the spoiler and shit. Yeah. (laughs) Spoiler alert. We know wrestling is fake. I know you're a huge fan. We know it's fake. We know that shit's fake. It's entertainment. (laughs) Like with Hulk Hogan beat Andre the Giant. That was fake. That was staged. We know. (laughs) We know it was staged. We know it. Beat John Cena. It's it's all staged. staged. They have a whole. They have a whole script. So then you gonna take the chair, right? And then you gonna hit, you gonna go to hit me, but then I'm gonna block it. And then see, I'm now in front of the camera is like, yeah, I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna slap the taste out of your mouth, kid. And then backstage we like chilling. It's like, yeah, <laughs> together. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah, that was good, yeah. dog. Yeah, that's what wrestling is. It's mm-hmm. it's acting. It's a form of entertainment. Mm-hmm. So you should not get too wrapped into. That's he's, what Donald Trump is a wrestler. That's what that's, that's the perfect. He's, he's a, a wrestler. wrestler. He's a reality star. That's the perfect description of him. How wrestlers, how they just talk shit on camera, but like the fans take it seriously. You know, they were like, supporters <laughs> are your fans. Yeah. Like they take that shit serious. And they take it so serious. <laughs> and it's like, and meanwhile, after he says what he says, five minutes later, he forgot that he just said what he said. And he's back with his wife. He and Melania and Baron are back chilling. Dylan Meanwhile, you all fired up, and you all. I don't know. Yeah. It's, huh? it's cold outside, so he probably wasn't playing golf. I'm saying, but I'll, he's all playing golf somewhere like 10 right. years. I said, Meanwhile, he's back with his wife and his son, mm-hmm. and they just chilling. And now you're all, yeah, you're all stirred mm-hmm. up and all yeah, riled up and everything. And, shit. and then and he completely forgot about five minutes later. He did mm-hmm. what he just said. And your dumb people ass. Called it, um, people have called this what, um, what is what is what you call what went on? It's like it's all kinds of like people say. It was, some people say it was a riot. Some say it was a fucking um coup. It was um some say it was an insurrection, a rebellion. Like um, what do you think it was? I'm gonna go with uh, D. All of the above. <laughs> it was a little bit of everything. It was what all it was to me and shit. I say it was an attempted coup, but I know what it really was. A circus. <laughs> that too. It's a fucking temper tantrum. That's what it was. That's really Ask what it was. Temper tantrum. Ask for the facts. Because they really um, what what did they they like? Sure, they disrupted Congress and um, but like they were they hid the ballots and all of that, so like they didn't um get that. But what did they really do when they got inside? They accomplished nothing. Well, they, they, bro- said they broke they, a few uh, windows. They um, they said they went they to the bathroom they, and they, they said they on Nancy Pelosi's and, desk and shit. And, and they, they smeared. They said it was. They say it was feces and urine throughout of it. They say that when they went to the bathroom, they took their feces, they spirit their shit, basically. It wasn't real rebellion. It's like, if it was right. real rebellion, they would have burnt that bitch to the ground. It's like, so right. you know, what did you really do? Yeah, you <laughs> you posed for fucking selfies and shit. That's what the fuck you did. And now, and now, 
to your dumb ass now too because everything like uh like i always say uh if we get your picture i say black twitter assemble black twitter when black twitter assembles oh, they've been people have been getting arrested but one, yeah one, black twitter one, guys, one, everybody got shot yeah so um somebody did uh five people died i know other people died late. i know one person actually got shot in the building yeah the lady who got shot yeah. And then, uh, like I said, I, I forgot the lady's name, but I'm not um, making it be a funny thing, but it's like, they was like, she was a staunch Trump supporter, and I saw a video of her, eh, just like, all like, just riled up. Right, and stuff. right before that, she was out there. And then a post that she said, she said uh, something like, I'll uh, acknowledge Joe Pius president over my dead body, or something she wrote like that, and then people was like, Maybe. and that was like one of her things that she wrote. Famous Over my last, dead body. Famous last words. <laughs> I'm like, so when you make sense that, yeah, over my dead body, he, I'm going to doubt him as president. And then you died like less than a week later or something like that. That's, I mean, it's tragic. But like I said, but with these people, you guys are risking your lives. Like some of you guys, like people who got hurt. People who actually died, you risk your are, life. And people who are getting arrested now. They people are, are starting getting arrested. arrested. Starting to arrest people. Some yeah. person, they was like, uh, when they, uh, when, as soon as his job saw him in there, they was like, oh, he's no longer employed with our company. Fired. So now you lost your job. Like, you may have had job security. Like I said, like, jobs are hard to find. Like I said, we're in the middle of a pandemic. And as you even know, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. We still are. So a lot of people are here's still. So, um, here's so, oh, um. Here's how little that shit mattered and shit. Like that's what I probably because I slept through it and um I didn't get riled up or a lot of my people on my timeline did. I here's did briefly because I was like, here's how, was- here's how little shit mattered. It's like Congress came back a couple hours ago and confirmed the vote. They did, yeah. I'm saying like, it was just so stupid. Why was they just said, making me? They say, okay, are you done? Hey, right, let's get back to the vote. That's what it was. It's like, yeah, like, like it's done. We'll just get back to it. Like with my, like with my kids, like when Khalil like has a tantrum. And we okay, have a tantrum. Are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now you go back to doing what you were doing. It's like <laughs> <laughs> because uh, shout out to our senator Tammy Duckworth because um, I actually um, mm-hmm. I actually heard her phone conversation because they was like, yeah, we have the senator from Illinois, Tammy Duckworth, on the phone, and then she was like, yeah, we're safe that like they have us in a safe location. And then she was like, and uh, she was like, these people would not deter me from my from my right a- in Congress. She was like, after this, she said, we're going to come here and we're going to certify our votes. Because Tammy Duckworth was like, no, we're still certified. It's saying like, okay, yeah, you they made it. Like, I think like two hours later they did. This. Yeah, Tammy Duckworth was like, yeah, it delayed it. She said, like, it delayed it. It put a temporary delay on this. She was like, but we will come back once it is safe to do so. We will come back this evening. Not tomorrow. This what evening. I, we'll what I kept back. calling it in my my time, I kept calling it white on white crime. That's what I kept. Calling it. <laughs> like all you, all, all my people, y'all better stay out of that white on white crime. <laughs> or, 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 or white on blue crime. Ooh. I, I want to see Ooh. none of my people down Ooh. there, like trying to y'all um, trying to fight with these fucking people, like them. <laughs> and then the funny thing that I saw, <laughs> the, the funniest thing is like, 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 like it was like black people mind they busy buying our black business. They showed the memes like us like this. <laughs> hey, black people, we mind our black business. Like, yep. <laughs> I like Farrakhan meme too, where they show Farrakhan. <laughs> like this, Farrakhan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching Trump supporters and police fighting each other? <laughs> yeah, Farrakhan like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like. Yeah, I'm like, you got shit to do with my people. <laughs> Which will cause them, which will cause to stand back. Uh, Tamika, Tamika Mallory, Mallory says, says stand. She <laughs> <took> off, <laughs> took Trump line like from the uh, debate to the stand back and stand by. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you better mind your black ass business. <laughs> you better but not go out there and try to pick no fight with them fucking Trumpers. It's like no, no none of us were involved. <laughs> ain't, got shit to say. ain't our fight. That's what I put hashtag not our fight. <laughs> did you see the? Did you see the girl who got maced? The Elizabeth girl who's like, yeah. She was like talking about how they made her. And then because the internet never loses, uh somebody took the video and they did the we're Anna Maney, totally insane. They just makes me <laughs> pretty good. I was like the internet, like, how did they do it so fast? I'm like, when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, like the internet wins again. Like they already mean that girl and she was like yeah and they maced me and, and you know it. and she was like yeah oh like that it's like well you try to break through a door 
You were really just started. Me. I forgot to mention even before all of this happened in <laughs> Washington. Um, what I forgot to mention is like a couple of days before all of this is, uh, you know, the, the leader of the Proud Boys was arrested in Washington. You saw for some some I think then he burned a black BLM flag or so I don't know what he did but it was something like that and shit so so it kind of started even like before all of this happened like yeah the Proud Boys leader he was he's a he's in jail now and even before all this shit happened and now the rest of these guys are getting arrested the one who sat at Nancy Pelosi's desk got arrested the Mike, idiot, the one, Viking man is he's the arrested the one who was dressed like Willie from the Simpsons they show Willie so the Simpsons did again because remember Willie how one of them uh. Viking man, that's what I call. <laughs> yeah, they was like Willie did down the Simpsons, and they was like the Simpsons did it again. They predicted that, and then this guy was dressed like that. He got arrested. I saw his mugshot. He wasn't. The Simpsons was, predicted too because they did it on the um. <laughs> Mr. Smith goes to Washington episode with Homer and Mel Gibson. They, it was wasn't that, that was kind of like a wild riot at the Capitol. It was like, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of like a riot at the <laughs> <laughs> when um when he threw the fucking flag through the president, <laughs> yeah, he threw it through the president. He failed the flag, president with a flag. <laughs> like, so, like, and Homer was like, "Yeah, <laughs> Homer was there." <laughs> I second kinda, that. Kinda with the the, I second that. Yeah. <laughs> with the vengeance. So they kind of yeah, they can, you can you can kind of count that if you want. <laughs> and then the other guy, the one who was like trying to steal the podium, who was walking out with the podium. Yeah, I know you know that guy who had the podium, yeah. Podium guy, he just got arrested, and then his mugshot. He's like, they all look just so like. And then the other guy, the last guy that they're trying to get now, or I don't know if he just got arrested, but they uh, they got his identity. Shout out Sean King. Uh, you know, he posts on his page like, let's make this person famous. Who is this? Somebody knows who this person is. And then you know, black Twitter detectives like, okay, his name is so and so. He resides in so and so, so and so. <laughs> and this guy, he came and he had zip ties. So if you have zip ties, it's like you're playing the hostage. Well, as, um, well according to right, TMZ, got- like, and TMZ is another source that's, uh, but according to TMZ, they said that um some right, of the um people were there to um to like they said harm harm Nancy Pelosi. They were gonna hang Mike Pence. There was a lot of like nutty. Yeah, shit. I, saw, I saw the news thing. I did see the news thing, and I I don't know who it was for, but it was a news that they had that they Same brought out that they Mike made. Pence. Like, that's it. It was a news. But Trump kind of called him out to you know the vice president can um can shut the da- shut it down if he wanted to like right. and like so Trump said yeah if my if Mike Pence doesn't then I'm done with him and shit so like they might have been coming for his uh, yeah basically he said like if he like he didn't grow his yeah. basically yeah, yeah basically what he said if you don't but, say um, Ill- illegitimate then yeah <laughs> then I'm done with you as well too but when that guy came and he had zip ties. So mm-hmm. then the story that he's telling now is like, he's like, I just got, and I saw this before, he's like, I just got caught in the moment and I, I it was never meant and nothing of a harm and I just, I just got caught up in the moment. Nah, I, let's, let's put black Twitter to the real challenge now. Like, fuck all of that. <laughs> I want to know who the brother was with the bubble coat. <laughs> yeah. I know who he the is. I want to know that. You know, because that's who I want. I want him. On black guy. I want to interview him. Like, okay, why were you? <laughs> Did you just stumble into that shit? It's like, you know who he was. Are uh, you a proud uh, boy? Like, yeah. Why uh, were you there? Because uh, he was Theo from um from um Die Hard, <laughs> the only black guy in the group. And all these so I want to know. Yeah, the, the brother who's become a meme himself now. <laughs> People say he was there to get his stimulus. <laughs> Hey, I'm just trying to get my stim. I want my 600, bro. I want my 600. That's what he was there for. That's, he was um, there. Yeah, <laughs> I know who that dude is. I want to know who he is. Like, man, his name. Come on. So, I, I would love. So, I would love to just interview his ass. So let's call our people. Black Twitter. Black Twitter assemble. Black Twitter. Assemble. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how cold you really are, Black Twitter. So find out who the black dude with the bubble coat on. <laughs> Cause this that whole, no, yeah. <laughs> but the way that that whole thing just unfolded, it's like people are trying to be like, well, they have, like I said, them assembly is not the issue, but you breaking through and breaking into time in terms of violence, you're breaking the law to stop them from certifying votes. They have already like like all these things that Trump have said. Every single claim that he has made has been flagged as being false. Everything that he has said, he went to what court? He took what fifty cases to court, sixty cases to court. He's lost every single case. They've proven that 
unfounded. Like, was it fraud in this election? No, but here's the the thing. Like, even even if it was voter fraud, you got to prove it. You can't just say it. Like, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? And then the and then the counties that he was saying it was in, they looked at the machines. They said they found nothing in them. They found every that they went back. Where's your evidence? They found nothing. The one case that they did find in one county, which was funny about voter fraud, it was a guy who was trying to vote for his dead mother, and he was trying to vote for Donald Trump. Mm. The one case that they did find in voter fraud was actually for Donald Trump. Because he was voting in his dead mother's name, and then he said that, well, my mom would have wanted to vote for Trump, so that's why I'm voting for her. Your mom died, though. You can't vote for someone who died. You can't You can't do that. Well, yeah, that <laughs> shit was, like, pure comedy to me. It's like, I saw a lot. I, said, I read some of your posts, like, when I went back. I know you were upset in the beginning. At the time, I was, yeah. Because I was pure comedy. I was like, why, why, it was unfolded because I was watching it real time. That's why I said, like, I was watching it real time unfold. It was like some of the shit I was reading. It's like, man, this is. This is one of the darkest days in our country. I'm like, it was not, man. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not, but I mean, it just shows that these idiots. But this know, wasn't 9 11. That's what people were No, it wasn't. To. This was not 9 11. But they really, they really tried it, though. They really, and my thing is, these people who went out there and broke the law, because y'all did the second that you broke through Congress, you broke the law. They thought it was going yeah, to be a, a federal crime. That's federal. federal. So they said that now these people could face up to 20 years in prison. I was, well, I was gonna say at least ten. It could be twenty. It could. I saw a report say it could be. Up, it could be up to twenty. Even Trump himself said that when uh, when, when the mocking he money was destroyed, he was mm-hmm. like, um, "Anybody who destroys government property likes to get a ma- minimum ten years." Minimum ten years. Trump said himself. Destroyed government property. <laughs> I'm just. And saying. that's why. I and then I screenshot. I screenshot Trump's mom, his Twitter post. From July, so this was not even six months ago. This was like the, it was when, like July, um, all of the George Floyd and all that stuff. Yeah, was, and he uh, said eight thugs tearing the monuments like, down. This when they eight. removed the my, the um Columbus monuments uh-huh. from Chicago. All of that. He said any thug that destroys federal property should get ten years. And I said, okay. So I said, so does that apply for your Proud Boys? That's why I was like, keep that same energy. I agree. I don't know, you I don't know if these were the, the Proud energy. Boys out there, but I just, yeah, I know he, he, the, the, he did get arrested for the Proud Boys, like, right before. I'm calling, them, I'm calling them Proud Boys. <laughs> I don't know if they were out. They definitely <laughs> were Trump. Same energy. Here's what's, um, here's what was whack about that, I will say. <laughs> like, about the whole, is, um, when they, you saw the guy with the Confederate flag in the Capitol building, mm-hmm. and they were like, um, during the Civil War, like, they, they never even got, um, a Confederate flag in the, in the Capitol mm-hmm. building. It's like, so you know that was the enemy's flag, the Confederate flag. And that's why, that's why. Like I said, even during the Civil War, they never got this close. It's like, yeah, like the mm-hmm. Confederacy, they never brought that flag in even during that time. And that's what I was like, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, and then um, another, they um, took the American flag down, so they put Trump the flag up. So, yeah, yeah, I saw that. I was about to say that, yeah, I saw the idiot, like, take down the American flag with Trump 2020. So it's like, so... As much as you guys claim to be patriotic, you claim to be an American, you claim to be all this, that's not patriotic. That's not American what you're doing. None of that that you're claiming that you're doing is being an American. Everything that you're doing is what the Americans fought. Everything that you're doing is what the Americans fought because they want to keep their democracy. But that one did, um, when I saw that post, it's like, yeah, even the Confederacy never even mm-hmm. kept the Confederate flag in there. But like these idiots did, like so. And it makes you, and, it, like, and I put up a post. This is one of the posts that I put up when I said, like, once my, because I was giving X, which is, I know people was like, well, because I really don't cuss like that. And people was like, damn, now you were going off. Like, she just cussing. And you said but, it hit you in real time, like me. I slept through all It that. hit me in real time. And then, like I said, then my kids were like in the room too. So that's why I was like, I was upset because I'm like, my kids are watching this shit. You know, so it was like, it was, me, but it was like upsetting me. So a thing that I put up, um, my even had, like, even uh, had a guy with makeup. It was a complete clown show. He had Viking, so he even had an actual clown there with makeup and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I said was I was, like, <laughs> I was like I understand. Now. I said before, before when I saw when they said that people just brainwash and completely have control. I didn't think that shit was real until I read about Jim Jones, not Bolin, not that Jim Jones, the Jim Jones from uh, Drink, night, Don't Get the Cooler. Yeah, don't drink the Kool Aid. That Jim Jones, like I said, when I read about his story, I was like, "Whoa!" And then watching these Trump people, I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "I get it now." Like, I, I think that was a real thing. He 
people said that they're brand. I didn't get that. I thought that that was like a fake thing. That I thing love being fake. independent because I don't get. I thought people were faking when they I don't said get emotional that. about none of that bullshit. It's like that's the beauty of being an independent. Independent, yep. None of that shit, like yeah, phases me. Like you don't, if it ain't affecting me, my pockets are like my people. I don't give. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, there's something that directly affects my people. Then it's like okay, now I'm pissed mm-hmm. off, but. But they're just like you. But you let this person play into your emotions. And like I said, there. Meanwhile, he's going to be on to the next. Like January twentieth, he's a civilian. Mm-hmm. He said he's a citizen. Goes, goes back to his Trump Tower. Goes with back to with Mar a Lago. With his billion. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with his wife and his son. And his well, billion. Goes, well, she goes back. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so, so I mean, he's just gonna go back and live his life, and meanwhile, you're in a jail cell somewhere. You're gonna sit in a jail cell, or you're gonna be under. You're gonna be six feet under, or you're gonna like you would have lost like you lost like family, friends because of your stupidity, because like you were just so yeah, Trump. Tr- you lost. You, you lost out over all of this shit, man. You this lost is- like friendships. You lost family. Election shit is all bullshit to me. It's like right. But so, um, like, I mean, you should never let one person have that much control over you. Like, why are you letting somebody dictate? Like, I mean, I'm not going to let, like, so, like, if I, like, if I, like, if I didn't want to talk to you anymore, like, you're my brother. Like, come on. Like, if, like, we fell out over, like, a politician. Really? Really? I'm going to let a politician get some asshole, like, they didn't call my brother? I've never even met, and I'm never going to meet. Like, somebody I'm never going to meet. Somebody who, like, forgot about me. Like, okay, like, okay. Like, I want to say this thing, and then I'm going to forget about it. All these motherfuckers later. are rich. It's not just Trump. It's like, yeah. Like, like, they are like, rich. They're going to go back to their rich life, and, like, they're not thinking about you. Right. Like, like, like I think Nancy Pelosi is worth, like, damn near $100 million. It's like that. It's like, these oh, yeah, because she been, like, what's she been, like, in Congress for, what, like, 60 years or something? Yeah, people, yeah, they're not thinking about you. She was in Congress in the 60s, so, yeah, she been there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. so... I think the Obama's net worth is like fifty million or some shit like that. Yeah, because they wrote some books and stuff. So I mean, they they made some money writing their books. All the fuck they bought their home in what Virginia Beach or whatever. They bought their nice like multi million dollar mansion. Yeah, y'all yeah. getting all worked up over these people that are not thinking about your ass. Like, calm the fuck down. No, this is the, this is what they he said this. And it's like, he's well, you're like, wrong, and I'll punch you in the face. It's like. Yeah, I like to see that. Yeah, I'm trying to see something come punch. Like <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sarge, just, since we're talking about, let's um. As Sarge, as Sarge said, I, real quick, as Sarge said, and uh, the five Harveys don't write checks that your ass can't cash. Yeah. Basically, or step outside, I kick both his ass like you stole something. Right, don't do that, as Sarge said. <laughs> but um, since we're talking about Congress and the elections, um, the Georgia runoff elections also went down right before all of this, like. I think was it that same day or the day before? I don't remember. It's like it around before. that same time. It was the day before, and then they officially called the election that same day. Okay. So that yeah. Monday All was the runoff. Together, yeah. And then the next day, that Tuesday, then they officially called it or so, whatever. Um, she's gonna get. Re- she's about to get real. <laughs> um, um, Raphael Warnock and uh, Al- Alsaf. I forgot the fucker's name, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, basically the two Democrats won both Senate seats. Which now splits the Senate fifty fifty, is um fifty um Republican senators, fifty Democratic senators. But if, but in the case of a tie, the tie breaking vote is held by the vice president, which would be Kamala Harris. Kamala so like Harris. technically the Democrats have the um advantage by even though it's like split right down the middle fifty right. fifty. So Mitch McConnell is no longer the minor, uh, majority; he's a minority now, so he doesn't get to basically veto stuff into like stop stuff he can't he can't just like say that yeah i'm gonna stop this mitch mcconnell no longer has so how do you how do you feel about this because i also have strong feelings about all this <laughs> hey if you if we like now everything is in the democrat so i mean Rep- uh the president democrat the house of representative democrat the said democrat don't be twirling your tongues fucking around actually get stuff done and that's why I'll say, <laughs> don't be fucking around. Actually, get stuff that, done. Um, on May, Maze Jackson's on page, I posted something. Actually, it's, get stuff done. Because I said, okay, um, now the Democrats have the House, the Senate, and the White House. Is like, well, I can't wait to hear their next excuse now for not having a black agenda. It's like, 
And I say, if no, I say get stuff done. Now you got no excuse and shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't blame it on anybody. If you don't do shit now, it's like, it's on you, homie, and shit, yeah. And I get, like I said, the first priority, like I said, and like, this is my timeline that I've always said, and this is just Naima's timeline, what I've spoken of. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Pandemic. People are dying. People are losing jobs. Okay, get the economy back on track. Get us back where we are, back to where we were. Get everything back on track. Once we get everything back on track, by the end of, like I said, you should have everything back on track by the end of this year. I'm going to give you this whole year by the end of the year. So going into 2022, now you need to be looking at us black people. That's why I'm saying minimum. Oh, and I've, gone, I've, 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 saved, I've saved this fucking dumb lift every voice plan to my fucking iPad. So and I'm, that's why I said, so I think make, we I'm got. A, I'm going to make me a checklist and see how much of this shit gets done. That's why I said, I get that we have other things. Like I said, the economy, the coronavirus, it's a lot going on. Let's take it. Let's get this back on track. Let's get this effective. Let's get this back on track because everybody is affected by the pandemic. Everyone is affected by this. All of us are. However, well, by yeah, the end of 2021. Who won the election for the Democrats, though? Black people. I'm saying, but by the end of 2021, going to 2022. Well, you need to be black, doing some for us. Is black what I'm saying. put you at the top of their list. You got, you can't put them at the bottom of yours. I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, once you get the other first, like by the end of this year, going into the next year, you need to be getting this done for us. I don't want it to be like 2024 and then you know it's like you guys are campaigning. You're like, yeah, you still haven't. Nah, we ain't going. We ain't going. <laughs> I'm saying that we ain't going. For it. We ain't going. Well, I we ain't downloaded going. the fucking um lift every voice play in case they try to delete the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I don't know. I'm gonna make. I'm making my checklist, and I'm gonna check exactly how many of those things get uh, done and shit in these next four years. I'm watching. I'm I'm watching you like fucking Jack and shit. I am watching the parents and shit. Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, that's the, I'm watching them fucking. That's why I say, and it's not as simple as let's just give black people money. No, let's not do that. Let's give us opportunity to grow so we don't have to be dependent. Let's have us learn how to have a skill set so we can build some real wealth in the black community let's teach us skills let's do that let's give us opportunity to get home ownership black ownership is what i'm about black. home ownership black businesses um good, I'm school, good schools for our kids to go to that's what i'm all about in 20 let's do that and yeah and, and beyond it's like black ownership whether let's it's home ownership, whether it's business ownership whether it's black banks like i'm all about black ownership right now and that's what i want it's a good school, good education for our kids. I want to hear the boys like, yeah, don't push. It's like, yeah. Because what I saw on the campaign, you know, like, the whole fucking world was in Georgia and shit the last couple of weeks and shit. It's like, so everybody was in there. It's like, yeah, if we win these seats, we can get you that $2,000 stimulus check. Like, that better not be your answer and shit, a fucking stimulus check and shit. <laughs> Black people shit. <laughs> like, yeah, that's cool, but okay. Okay, that's cool, but what else you got? That's why I'm out. Yeah, that's cool, but what else you got? That's why I'm out. Okay, that's cool. What else you got? Exactly. <laughs> and better and let's not be a game, be a game plan for Black people. Give them a $2,000 stimulus. And check. let's get Stacey Abrams her flowers now because that sister did it. The reason why we got, like, why we're in the position that we're in is because Stacey Abrams fought tooth and nail. Now, they actually did steal the election from her. I'll say that on the record. They stole the election from her in Georgia. She should have been the governor. They stole her election. Georgia, so I don't know what went down. They did. They stole it from her. But instead of her just being like, they, st- you know, like she was like, okay, I bet I'm going to make my voice be her in another way since you guys wanted to not, you know, do this. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do it another way. And she got them voters out. She got people out there. She stopped the voter uh, suppression. So let's give Stacey Abrams her flowers because she she did that. She did. So all I'm saying is I'm watching Joe Biden's ass. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> We're all watching Joe Biden. Biden and, and Kamala. And Kamala. And Kamala. I'm watching you. And whoever else is in the cabinet. I mean, it looks like he is, um, he is getting, like, not only, not the fact that, um, that he has diverse, uh, I'm not just focusing on that, but he actually is picking people that actually do have experience in the areas that he's putting in his cabinet. Uh, uh, my concern is these fucking promises on this Lift Every Voice plan. That's what, that's where my focus is at. <laughs> that's what so, I'm doing right now. <laughs> 
So, I mean, if you, if you, but I think is if you have a good foundation, like you need to be able to build on this foundation. So you get, you sit around, you set your table and everything. Now you got to make sure that we all eat at this table. Make sure that we all are eating. Mm. That's what I'm asking. Make sure that we are all eating because you got to put the foundation down. You can't just, you know, you got to have a strong thing or it's going to crumble. It ain't going to work. So. But we gonna be watching. As long as the Democrats don't pull that gun control bullshit, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, like leave that shit alone. Yeah, um, yeah, because I'm a two A guy. Without the Second Amendment, it wouldn't be a fucking First Amendment. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have free speech unless you can't protect yourself. That's really what the Second Amendment is about. It's not really about guns. It's about protecting yourself. And like. Yeah. No freedom if you can't have the right to protect yourself and shit. So exactly. as long as you stay away from that shit, like I'm cool. Like leave the fucking yeah. gun shit alone. Mm-hmm. Got no pro and like keep some of these goddamn promises. Like mm-hmm. I keep most of them. Like fuck some of them and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. me too and shit. Yeah, keep like ninety percent of these promises. Yeah, don't be like, well, we we just want to dress this other because that's my thing. Is I'm like, don't I right, don't pick like end of. Like fall of like twenty twenty three to like st- no because then it's like you're actually during that time you should be planning your reelection and plan to because the yeah, election you should be talking about the shit you did not the shit you're gonna do by then exactly and that's my and thing that's why I got saying, this done you give us another four we can get more done like you should be at that time talking about the shit you already did by yeah. then. and then even if you don't like I said even if you did let's say that you have thirty tasks on your list. And let's say that you give 20, that you, in your first four years, you're able to do 20 of the 30. That's still a good percentage. And then show it, I completed this. But if you give me another chance, I can complete my list now. I can complete the other 10. Mm-hmm. You need to be showing that type of uh, commitment. It shouldn't be like nothing is done. All right, are black people just always um voting, 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 voting? Like, when are black people going to get something? Like- and not getting nothing. Because, mm-hmm. like, honestly, both both people like it was it was our election this year that's why i said like in 2016 it was about the forgotten um poor white america it was about them like yes like you know we didn't that's why trump won we didn't forget about you you know we didn't forget about you guys come on come on yeah i'm gonna get you guys good jobs so you don't need a college education and i'm gonna bring back uh what was that the coal mine coal mine yeah there you go coal mine i'm gonna bring back coal mining no, that's a that's an obsolete thing. The Coal mine industry it has nothing to do with um Trump or anybody. It's just right, it's obsolete. It's an obsolete industry. It's a dying industry. That's all that it's is. It's like if somebody is like trying to say that they want to open up a a video a uh, a video store like mm-hmm. where you can rent movies. A VHS store and shit at that. <laughs> well, you know, like DVDs, like rent DVDs. VHS. It's like that's what the coal mines are more like VHS and shit. Yeah, beta. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Trying to open that shit up. That's what the equivalent of that is. Right. It's like that. It's like first of all, who's I still going know to people rent that watch DVDs. Nobody watches VHS. Right, who's going to rent movies? Shout, from out, shout out Diz. He's still watching. Uh, like who missed videos from the uh, video store? Who does that? Blackwood, but that's about it. <laughs> like who does that? You just go on your stream and go Netflix, mm-hmm. Amazon Prime, Hulu. <laughs> you just do that. Nobody except this, but. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was like that. So that's why I say this year was about us. This was our election for black people. So when people saw that black people are starting to get agitated, especially, like I said, the straw that broke the camel's back, the whole George Floyd, everything, the unrest that happened with that. It's like, yeah, so let's talk about um, racial inequality in America. Uh, Yeah, so I can promise you that you won't, your voice will be heard. That's why we're going to lift your voice. Well, that's why we're going to give you this platinum plan. Both names suck. <laughs> For the record, I'm not being biased. Both names suck. The platinum to plan is that's dead. I'm, I'm focused on the list. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just taking it back in time, like just showing how both sides were pandering mm-hmm. to black people. So it's like, and now that we elected and we've officially certified and done all that, so now, like I said, we're just counting down. 10 days till I said, well, it's going to be still nine trying days. to impeach Trump. Like that's probably won't happen because impeachment takes a while. By the time you got the ball rolling, like his presidency will be over. So it's probably won't happen. It's like, like, so the the talking about as well. too. that's another process is like, yeah. 
probably take you like so a month to get that role into it. It's like, yeah, it's like if they started the paperwork now, there's like it still could be even after his presidency uh, is over, it still could go through. Because like the thing is that they're looking at, they're saying that um, it would lock him out of certain benefits. Like if they do that, it mm-hmm. would lock him out of stuff. Like he wouldn't be able to run in 2024. He would lose his pension because a uh, former president gets two hundred thousand dollars a year pension. Well, he probably doesn't need that, but I don't know what you're saying. Um, but just on principle, you know, I guess like they just want to lock him out of, you know, of out of like the benefits that presidents get. <laughs> huh? They just want to lock him out of that. So. <laughs> Speaking of locked out, yeah, um, he's been locked with Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, he's um interest. He's, he's, in, he's in Facebook jail right now, but Twitter is like he's done, like banned permanent. Permanent, like, yeah, Twitter permanent. Got him the fuck out of there. Like Facebook, he's still in Facebook jail. I don't know if it's permanent with Facebook. They said at least until after the inauguration. I think Instagram got him uh, permanently. It's the same yeah. Instagram, Facebook. This sucks. The same company. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, Zuckerberg. That's right. Yeah, they bought him. So, so I was, they're different. The, permanent, I know. the last I heard, they said um, indefinitely. They said um, Twitter said permanently. Permanently. Said and that's what they, they said indefinitely, yeah, because they're still reviewing because they're that like. I mean, like, we're just going to put him on ice until after this fucking inauguration. Like, could be mm-hmm. And what people keep on getting mixed up is like, well, it's censorship. No, it's not censorship. It's like, a yes and a no with that. People are confused in what the First Amendment covers, and it's like yes and no. it's the, like Facebook isn't a federal thing. They're social media. They're not. They're a private company. They're not federal. So, but they um, they're not they, um, I can't um, I can't tell you that um, Zucks and um, Dorsey are good guys. Like because like you know who else is banned is um in Facebook jail and banned from Twitter. Who oh. Minister Fire Council. So to them, like Farrakhan and Trump are the same, like which is definitely not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Farrakhan is not fucking Trump and shit. Yeah. No. But in their eyes, yes. Yeah. So I can't really like look at them as like heroes because no, they're not heroes. You ban the minister, so fuck y'all. It's like yeah. Yeah, because like I don't even know why they ban him. <laughs> because like, because so, like some of the shit like you said in the past about oh, anti- they said anti-Semitic. Yeah, that's what they yeah, said. That's yeah, what yeah, that's that's what nah. Yeah, but um. But the whole thing with the, that is like when they would show all the lists of stuff that he's locked out. They had Pinterest on there. I was like so I like saw MySpace. I saw what, what somebody was just trolling with that one. They said Spotify. He's locked out Spotify. <laughs> but Pinterest is like so you can't even get recipe ideas. Like what, like what are you going to do on Pinterest? Like you get ideas like off of Pinterest. Locked out of Vine and shit. They're not even around. <laughs> Well, he did bad TikTok, so. <laughs> so TikTok. He himself out of that year. But TikTok is like, ha-ha. 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 TikTok is like, nobody posted that shit about how TikTok got the last laugh. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that meme hasn't shown up. They do the seven. I'm a savage. They do the seven dance on TikTok. Are we done but, with the political? Because we, uh, we, we went yeah, we went Yeah, But this thing. was a, this had to, right, yeah. it, it was, it was a lot it was, to it was definitely yeah. Uh, we got it. It was a lot to unleash because that whole thing was a hot mess. It was got it all in. It was a hot mess. It's just like a related, like um, this is kind of political, but not really. Might as well segue into this. Um, the, what do you think about the allegations against um Father Mike Flager? That happened this week too. Here's my thing about it. What I posted is like these damn Catholic priests. Like I know a lot of people are. Was quick to run to his defense. I'm like, I, I don't know. It's like they got a history. And that's my, and that's my thing. Like, my thing. I'm just I'm playing wait and see. Like I don't know. Like and uh, me too. Like I'm kind of there with it. My thing is like they got the the Catholic Church has a history of bullshit. Like it this. does. I hope it's not true because I, I feel really like because yeah. I, really, I feel like he does good because like he actually does give a damn about what's history. going on Don't in our community. Hood in Chicago. Like he. Like he he talks it, but he walks it. Like Saint Sabina does a lot in our in Inglewood. They do a lot in our communities, in Black communities, and he's Saint always. Saint Sabina would be fine. They probably they could put somebody up, but like with hope with him in particular, so I'm keeping an eye. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like yeah, like yeah. That I don't. Know. It, it's a. F- it, it, it rubbed me the wrong way because I was like the fact that you know I said the fact that he he is a big advocate in the African American community, and it's like and he was. 
of when he was an ally for the African American community, and then the fact that you know now it's like he's trying to get taken down. Like, I mean, I hope it's not true, but then again, I see you never know about it. You he never know. The statement he didn't deny it. That, that also like made me like sorry. Right, you I never know. Yes, you never know because he didn't deny anything. Yeah, he just um. He said, I, I, right now, I'd rather, um, I, I'd rather not give a state or something. Like, it was, like, vague, like the statement he gave. He didn't vehemently like, deny it. He said, talking about his allegations. It's like, it's like, you didn't really say, like, this is all bullshit. I didn't do nothing. Like, me, like, if I didn't do nothing, I'm going to go hard. Mm-hmm. This bullshit, that motherfucker's lying. I didn't do anything. Like, yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. that's just how I am. Like, I'm going to go hard and shit if I'm, like, mm-hmm. being framed and shit. But, yeah, he gave, like, a politically correct answer. I'm like, come on, Mike Flager. Now, I've, yeah. um, I've, I've met Mike Flager a couple of times. Yeah, like, I'm, come on. Yeah. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. sometimes, and that's a danger too, is sometimes people want to try to be too PC. And it's like, stop being, you're not a robot. Like, it's okay if you if you get mad. And like I said, even though you're a pastor, uh, a, a, a priest, I'm sorry, even though you're a priest, it's like, if you swear, if an F bomb came out, I wouldn't even be mad because I don't. I don't like that better than the statement you gave. I'd rather him. Emotional. Say, I'd rather he, you say that's yeah. fucking bullshit. If he said that, that's fucking bullshit. Okay, I get it. You got he's emotional. Emotion went out the window when Trump became president. He curses and he's a president. Right. <laughs> yeah. when you get emotional as human beings. You're gonna <laughs> stuff is going to slip out. F bombs are going to slip out. Mm-hmm. Cuss words are going to come out, and it's okay because you're human. Mm. So, I mean, I just don't like the whole, like I said, like the whole robotic. Like, I didn't like his statement. That, yeah, like that, that made me um further, like, say I'm not ready to, like, run to his defense like some, like a lot of my people are. It's like, I'm not, um no, I didn't like. Where I'm at now. I just I, 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 on his Facebook page, he released a statement on his official mm-hmm. page. And I didn't like, I was like, that, uh, that, that was weak. <laughs> I think that I've been saying. It came a little harder to me. I'm like, I hope it's not true. That's where I'm at. I'm at I the hope I it's hope not it's true, not. But uh, hope I'm not ready true. to run to his defense, though. Yeah, like, I hope, that, I hope I it's hope bullshit, not. but I'm not ready to say it is bullshit who a lot of my people are. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, like, this is all bullshit. They trying to frame that man. Like, I don't know that. Like, we um we know how the Catholic Church gets down and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. So I'm, just, I'm watching to see what happens. That's where I'm at. A lot of that was happening in the nineties. A lot of that. A lot of that bullshit. And his allegations go back to the eighties, like they're saying with him. It's like four years ago. Yeah, something that happened back in the fucking eighties. Yeah, so you know it was going down back then. It's like seventies. Because this was like for four over four years ago. Mm -hmm. Like jeez. But I mean, Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that they do get to the bottom of it. And then one thing that I'm not going to, I don't believe in when people go victim blaming. I don't like when people blame it. Like if, if this boy actually was a victim from him, then he should be. If it's some bullshit that happened 40 some years ago. And he um, yeah, like he yeah. should be held accountable. He should. However, if it is fabricated, then something should happen to the person. For then that um, the person should be buried. Yeah. If like, if it comes so out, I'm, on both, I, I'm just on the side. Like, I want the fairness. I want it to be fair. If it if definitely did happen, I want to see justice served. If the person is fabricated, I want to see them be, you know, like that's perjury. That's, you know, I want to see that. So that's where I'm at on both sides. Like I like to, I just like the truth. I don't like, I, I don't like, I don't the, like the noise. Yeah. I don't like I the lie. We line. covered that fucking um Washington shit like that. Yeah, we we covered it like pretty um nonpartisan. Like, well, I did. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we covered it pretty nonpartisan. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that you out there dumb and you let this person. I I just said from the real standpoint about the you let somebody who don't even know that you like, exist. We, just, um, your life. <laughs> we go um, we just give the facts. Like, it's just the facts. Like, um, was it Joe Friday that said that shit? I don't fucking. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I know, um, I know the '80s version of Dragnet with um Dan Aykroyd and fucking um Tom Hanks. I remember that version. <laughs> I'm not old like. <laughs> oh, Kareem, I used to watch the old one. Mom, Kareem, I used to watch the old one. Naked Night with Mom. <laughs> yeah, I've seen the original, but like. I'm more familiar with the movie that came out in like '88 or whatever year that was. Right. That's the version I'm more familiar with. <laughs> um, let's, let's talk about a little thought culture before we get the hell up out of here, because like oh, it's a little bit of thotting went down this week too. Oh Lord. Um, let's start. Um, Aisha Curry. 
one of your favorite people. <laughs> people say she's one of my favorite people. What do you um? You know, she had her little fucking pig. What look like she she was like dropping it low in front of the stove on her Instagram and shit. Yeah, I saw that. And um, well, of course, got backlash because remember, just a couple of years ago, she was talking about um not being yeah being all the shit. or whatever. What do you think about Aisha Curry? Like, uh, is she having a midlife crisis or whatever? Like, she been um. She's been acting weird, real weird lately. Like, what do you think was going on with her? Here's what I think. I don't think it's a midlife crisis. I think that, honestly, this is what happened. I think that she's just confident in herself now because she she had children. And like we said, that um, on the red table talk, like not being funny, like she was the biggest person at the table. Not saying she was big, but in the room. Somebody oh, has to be the biggest it, person. It her at that table and shit. Yeah. And it was her at the table, even though like she isn't big and she had just had a baby. And then even on the red table, like she was getting some bad. People were talking about her being a little chubby and this and that, but she just had a baby. And she also had friend. a little comment about, yeah, how come randoms don't want to fuck me? And like, yeah, sometimes it's hard to lose a baby, but especially if you give a third child, sometimes it's hard to lose it. So she put in the work. She, you know, did her diet, whatever. And now she got her hot body she feels high and confident so she's a little bit like hey i'm a hot mama now i I think that's what's going on is that she never felt she was hot before and now she's like hey i'm hot now hey and now she's like that's where i think that she is but i think that she does need to it's a bit much going on i think that you know reel it back you know i I get it like i said you you just you I'm, just I'm, got your hot body. I get it. My Eminem voice, it. well, with a real Aisha Curry, please stand up. <laughs> I get it. It's the it's same the thing. Real, like the real one, the chick from five years ago is this chick now on Instagram. Like, who's like if you're a person, a guy, like if you've never had abs in your life and you work your ass off and now you got a little Cool J abs, you gonna be taking off your shirt in five seconds, show off your, like, yeah, I got abs now. You gonna Which be is doing fine, that. but if I was just telling <laughs> people <laughs> that, um. <laughs> but if men shouldn't take their shirts off in public before I look like an asshole. It's like, if I was saying that, like, yeah, like, and that's the problem with her. Like, if I was saying it's that, it's all growth. That's why I said, like, because she said, I mean, like, she's five years older now. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if, if she did retract and went back and said that at the time, like, all she has to do is just, yeah, say, I, I was wrong. Time, yeah, I was wrong. At the time, I was going, at the time, I had my own insecurities about my body. That's why. I inadvertently, I wasn't trying to shame anybody, but that was insecurities I was feeling about myself. I feel insecure, which a lot of women do feel insecure about their body. I was going through a thing at that time. I, I feel was, insecure about my body, so that's why I made this thing. It's your body. You should be able to show it if you want. And like, now that I'm on the other side of it, I got the body now, I'm going to join y'all. That's all she has to say. If she says that, then all will be forgiven. All will be forgiven because we get it. Your insecurities come out. Hmm. That's how it comes out. When you like feel insecure about something, you're gonna shame people inadvertently. You are. Speaking of getting shamed, also related to thought culture, what you think about Cardi B getting shamed for not letting culture listen to WAP? That's the stupidest thing. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, this one, this is even juicier than Aikisha Curry shit. Yeah, this. First one. of all, because I'm a parent and I have two young children, my children are not listening to Cardi B. The only time Ariana has heard Cardi B is on the radio edit of Finesse. Because she liked Bruno Mars. She liked the thing. I need dripping in Finesse. Ariana liked that song. I'm not letting Ariana listen to uh, WAP. I'm not letting her listen to that. Because it's called being a parent. There's some chores in this house. The kids, Bob. There's some chores in this house. There's some chores in this house. <laughs> but as a parent, you are in charge of what your kids watch and what they don't watch what they listen to, what they don't listen to. Always make things age appropriate. Like last night we watched the movie Soul on Disney Plus. Very nice movie. Family movie. We wasn't watching um, Deadpool. I'm not showing my kids Deadpool. I'm not doing that because that's not age appropriate for children. It's not. You're not going to show your children old Richard Pryor movies. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 70s. And like, like, here's the difference. Like, okay. Um, if it happens to be on, if everybody hates Chris, it's on. My kid, like Ariana, might peek and like might watch, might want to watch. Everybody hates Chris. I'm not showing her Chris Rock stand up. Absolutely hey, not. Baby, let's go. Absolutely not. <laughs> We're <you> talking about <laughs> the sweat drip from my balls. The sweat drip. I'm not. I'm not showing her that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. She definitely needs to see um 
black <laughs> folks versus niggas. <laughs> I'm not sure I heard that. Absolutely. Like, like even us as kids, like we liked watching Sanford and Son with mom as kids. Because San Francisco was always in syndication our whole life. So it's always we been in that. syndication. And that's our mom's favorite it's show. On TV one now. Like it's, it's our never, mom's. never been off the air since the right. 70s. The show has always been on And it's our mom's favorite show. It's still, still her favorite show now, today. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, we watch San Francisco. We know all the episodes. We can say the dialogue through the episode. My daddy's records. Yeah, we know all of them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the nightclub, bought champagne, rode in the taxi, walked in the rain. <laughs> Is that onion stew? I just love onion stew. <laughs> I'm hungry to eat that whole pot. <laughs> uh, hey. We know all the episodes. Lunda. <laughs> Lunda. <laughs> I'm getting rid of the pig. <laughs> See, like we just know episodes of San Francisco. But, um, like but mom, oh, we yeah. watched <laughs> <Y'all>? <laughs> we watched Stanford and Son with mom. Mm-hmm. We didn't watch Red Fox, but we didn't listen to Red Fox stand up with mom. I didn't see his stand up. Absolutely, Absolutely not. I never saw Red Fox stand up till I got going. Going back to Richard Pryor, we watched Richard Pryor and The Great Muppet Caper. We watched him in Brewster's Millions. We watched him in Car Wash. Um, Uptown Saturday Night. Uptown Saturday Night. Um, the um, Wiz. The Wiz. Um, uh, Original Muppet movie is one I saw him in. Um, what's some of the other Silver movies? Silver Streak. Silver Streak, baby. <laughs> Silver Streak, baby. <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil. Silver Streak. Um, Superman <laughs> 3, which sucked. But yeah, he was in that. Though. <laughs> Sorry, Richard Pryor was in a Superman movie. That actually happened. <laughs> but we wasn't watching that. Absolutely not. Like, I didn't watch Harlem Nights till I was, like, a little bit older. Because at the time when Harlem Nights came out, I was, like, nine when Harlem Nights came out. So that wasn't... I saw Harlem Nights. So you didn't see, come on, sucker, let's get no, it. I saw, I was a little bit older. I was maybe about, like, 13 or 14 by the time I saw it. Which was more, pro- but even still, like, watching that. But it's more, I mean, like, I was a teenager, so. But, I mean, I didn't watch it at nine. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I was, come yeah. on, sucker. let's get it on. <laughs> I didn't watch that as a child, but as a parent, it's your job to parent your kid. And Cardi B even said that she was like, I'm a mom and I'm not going to let my child listen to. She's like, I make uh, music for grown ass people and I'm a very sexual person. She's like, I'm a sexual person and I make stuff for adults. Mm-hmm. I don't make stuff for kids. So if you're out there, letting I don't, your I don't, listen to Cardi I don't B, think it's, I don't think it's necessarily hypocritical. It's, um, it's not. It is not her job to raise to parent it's your not kid. Your job, right? Like, so I make adult music, but I don't let my kid listen to it. So I suggest you do the same. Don't let your kid. It's the reason why it's a sticker that says parental advisory. Been, been on there since we were uh, young. Yeah, the back then. had the girls with the butts or the uh, you know, yeah. come with the butts. Yeah, you know I want to be. Let's go, man. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What says NWA has straight out of Compton? Yeah, Compton with the, we had Easy E like pointing the gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like this. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't listen to that. Like I didn't listen to it till later. Like I didn't listen because that was like the '80s, so I couldn't listen. Ice to Cube's it. America's Most Wanted. Let's go. <laughs> and NWA's name, like you can't mm-hmm. even say their name, mm-hmm. their full name. You can't. <laughs> you know. Snoop Dogg doggy style. You see the parental advisory. Dr. Dre, the chronic baby. <laughs> Let's go, man. I love Dr. Dre, yeah. He, you know, <laughs> he has a brain aneurysm. Speaking yeah, speaking of, of Dre, yeah. Segway, yeah. Everybody pray for Dre, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's um, recovering, yeah. Yeah, he um he sent out um, he sent on his out Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, he gave and it he said update. thank you um for your prayers and everything. He you know he but like, he felt the love and he was like I'm I'm resting comfortably. I'm doing good. Like I got the best doctors here. So he was like I'm good. But thank you. He's like thank you so much because everybody just was flooding for their prayers because it's like it's Dre. You know it's mm-hmm. you know we grew we grew up on him. You know we grew up on Dr. Dre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I should not have been listening to Dr. Dre, but that's oh, another story. All of that, NWA, all of that I was listening to. Because I would hear it coming from you and Feces. I would hear it coming from you guys. I was like, what? I was just hearing, like, you know. <laughs> I didn't listen directly, but I would hear it from you guys coming. Mm-hmm. That's how I would hear some of the lyrics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to you that's built to last. If you fuck with me, I put my foot in your ass. Come on, man. 
and then you knew all the words to us. Uh, I know all the words now. I just don't want to say them because it's too many end bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it, but it's straight out of Compton when you were like, you said we were the beer there, you were like rapping all the. <laughs> he was like, oh, um, uh, the, the no Vaseline scene. People thought I was spoiling the movie. I'm like, oh, I, we haven't seen the movie, movie yet. <laughs> I remember, I remember no Vaseline, so I know all the lyrics. I remember when that dropped and shit, yeah. In 91 or whatever it was, I remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that one is that the best disc record ever? I would put it up there. Definitely top two or three. Like if not he no. ended he ended a whole group. <laughs> he ended a whole group. Cause after that they was they Let's was go, yeah, probably the greatest three disc records in no order. I like that. I like Ether and I like hit him up. Like it's probably those three nah. like, <laughs> records of all time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just hit him up like you heard the. What made hit him up so cold is um Pac actually he had a fucking a party record like a disc record like that was a party like people played that at parties. Take first money. off, fuck your bitch with you click click on the side. When the song first starts so that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. What? Like when the song starts, you're like, wait, what? What just happened? You're like, money. And then that's I take money, take money. <laughs> Well, he had a party anthem. Like he's he only had a disc record that uh, DJs were playing at the club. And then the video, they had the fake Biggie, the fake Lil Kim in the video. Yeah, mm-hmm. the fake Lil Caesar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I'm pumped up. I think we should end on that note. Now I'm pumped up. I'm gonna listen. Pac. Pac is it? Listen to hit him up. <laughs> Podcast is a podcast. <laughs> That's going to do it. Not another damn podcast, episode 189. Okay. Definitely appreciate your support. Not another damn podcast. You want to support us further? Give our Facebook fan page a like. Also, subscribe, share, rate, review on all your platforms. I'm talking about Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, SoundCloud, iHeart, TLC Talk Radio. What up, Tasha? The Amazon Alexa devices, and of course, you can see us visually on YouTube. A little something like this. Okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail. Follow me at Ozman the Wizard on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Oz Radio on Snapchat and Facebook as well. And under construction right now, we're putting some work, some tweaks into OzRadio.net. The bomb, but you can get your 90s and 2K classics. We're working on it right now. And you can check me out, msima 8626 on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Also, S-T-R-8-G-U-L-O-E-Y-1 on Twitter. Mm-hmm. S-T-R-8-G-U-L-O-E-Y-7 on Instagram. Also, please like the Straight Gully Facebook fan page. Mm-hmm. Check out straightgully.com for your blogs and your vlogs. And for your video production needs, check out straightgullyproductions.com. Well, I'm Ozman the Wizard. And Naima. And we will talk to you later. Bye. I'm gone.